Hey everyone, it's Eric, and today I have a DIY project. It's a little slow this weekend at Bath & Body Works and all the other candle companies, so I thought it'd be a great time to do a DIY using some of these Bath & Body Works three wick jars that are getting used up. And just some nice ideas you might want to think about using them for. You know, if you have a jar style that you really like, um, like this one, I, I really like this champagne toast with the dragonflies. I'm going to show you a few things you can do with it to keep the jar around and just reuse it, repurpose it. <gasps> Hurrah! Yeah! And then also I'm going to do an actual DIY project using this old grody pumpkin apple jar style. And we're going to make a wine caddy out of this. So you will need, uh, if you actually want to try doing this, you will need a old jar you can use. You'll need a glue gun or some kind of crafting glue from a crafting store. And then you will also need, um, oh, a good two to three dozen uh, corks uh, for this project. And I just thought it'd be fun to make a wine caddy out of one of these that you can use at your table, help collect drips from catching onto your actual table. Fun conversation piece and just a fun project to make. Now, I will say I am not a crafter at all. So if I can do this, you can do this because I don't know the first thing about glue guns. But we're just going to have fun and try to make a wine caddy out of one of these. So let's head over to the kitchen and clean one of these out. All right, here we are at the kitchen sink. You can, of course, do this you know, over your garbage can. I'm just using the kitchen sink for uh, videotaping purposes. And then I like these kind of a little bit of a flexible kind of a knife, like a small paring knife works great. And you're just gonna break up the wax with the knife real quick. Next, add some warm water to loosen up the glue on the bottom. And those will just pop right out after a minute or two. Add a little dish soap. It's all clean. So before we get into the DIY project with this cleaned out pumpkin apple jar, let's talk briefly about what you can do with these um, three wick jars outside of what we're doing with the DIY. So one thing you can do that um, I think a lot of people do is just put, you know, you can put some um, cotton balls in there and like some Q-tips. I'll put these on the side for demonstration purposes and just kind of quickly putting them in there but you can do something like that and just you know have it on your bathroom counter and keep it you know nice and tidy well honey i never would have thought that um so that is an idea you can do with these and then another thing you can do as well is take some just like some fairy lights and get these like a dollar tree all kinds of places sell these and then show you what this looks like lit up with this particular one yeah, you could just do something like that, real simple. And these are really nice. You could just turn these on and just put them on a table or up on a bookshelf and just a nice little, kind of almost like a nice little night light. Mm, sounds quite nice. <laughs> so there's that idea. And then the one I really like. So I really liked this jar style that they did, Bath & Body Works did this year. The Force of Nature, this was for Mother's Day with the dragonflies. I really liked this so much, and I decided I wanted to keep this jar for sure. So I just have some fl these little um, flickering tea lights, and I just used two in it. You can do more than two, or you can do one or three or whatever. Uh, now, these cost uh, $3.99 for a set of six from Hobby Lobby. I'm sure you can find them cheaper. And then... Um, so this is, you know, and I'll show you what this looks like in the dark. Really pretty. I like the flickering with these. And you can really 
see the little outlines of the dragonflies and the stars. So just a really cute idea, I think, for this one. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Um, so it's just something nice you can do with any of these jar styles that you might like and not want to throw away. You can just clean these out and repurpose them with little flickering tea lights and use them on a table or in a bookshelf or wherever. All right, so now let's get into the DIY with our pumpkin apple. Again, you're gonna need your um, hot glue gun or some kind of crafting glue and a whole bunch of wine corks. You want to try to use wine corks that are roughly the same size, so uh, it's always best to try to find ones that are the same size. Like, see, this one's just a little bit bigger than these two, so I'll probably end up going with this um, size it looks like in here in my bag. I just have a bunch of wine corks that I've saved over the years, and I always thought to myself, gosh, what will I use these for? I always thought, well, maybe I'll make some kind of cork board or something out of them, which, I mean, it would be a great idea, but... Now I'm kind of thinking, let's do a wine caddy. All right, so we're just gonna take our jar and our first wine cork, and then we're just gonna add a little glue here. Should we get lots of glue on there? I want to make sure it's pretty well even with the other one. And they, they freeze right away to it, you guys. So here's the first three. And you're just going to go all the way around the jar. we did on the first layer. Now you, it's up to you if you want it to be with uh, kind of like the wine showing or if you want them this way a little more clean. That's entirely up to you or you might have a mixture of them. There you go and we're going to do the same thing we did here all the way around and then we'll have our wine caddy finished. So now, there we go. We have a wine caddy, you guys. Don't you see? Everybody's gonna need this right now! All kinds of little wine corks all over it. And then you can just put your wine bottle right in there. Just like that. Oh, it's delicious. And this will catch all the drips. You can just wipe it out with a paper towel or just a damp sponge. Easily to uh, kind of clean up there. Just, a, I thought it was a really neat idea and just something different to do with these uh, candle jars to repurpose them. It's marvelous, marvelous. I couldn't have done better myself. Please leave comments down below of what you think of this DIY project and if you'd like to see future DIY projects on this channel. And as always, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.